Hello everyone, welcome once again to our video tutorial. So in this video tutorial today, we will show you and guide you how to install a Google Analytics 4 for your website. Alright, so uh, first uh, and foremost, you need to go to this link, analytics.google.com. So once you, you reach that link, uh, you need to create an account, which I have already done, and uh, it will mark check and also property creations, it will also check uh, business details, what kind of uh, business is your website is, and then the business objective, uh, which uh, in my end, I just used data collection. All right, so the next step that I will show you, well, this is very straightforward here. Uh, you can, uh, I did not show this in video because uh, this is more on uh, personal data and uh, that is very easy to, to create. So there's a, uh, a straightforward for that one so the last step is this one data collection and you need to, 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 to change which platform are you using so if, if you want an Android app or iOS app you can choose this one but in this case I want to create a data collection for the website so I, I click this one and then I just type uh, what is my website so I just follow that one okay uh, and then I put a uh, yeah and then just uh, leave it by default and uh, just create stream it will uh, generate and now you will get this information right here and this is the measurement tag and also you will see some uh, instructions here so uh, let's copy this one our tag is something like this so let's go ahead and check this one so, yeah so that's correct so you can click it by here Yeah, so just copy that one and then put it on your website so uh, just log in there and then go to if you are using a Joomla and you have a template just go to the template put it uh, in the header section uh, most likely it will add up to uh, advanced settings let's check here advanced features uh, developers tool and here you can add the Google Analytics so I just put this on top There. So I have the previous one. I can delete this. To avoid the. So I can delete this one here. Yeah. And then I just uh, save that one. So once it is saved, I can go back here and then uh, it may take some time to, uh, you know, to, to see the data. But once you have that, um, you can also create a Google Tags. So let's configure that also. So here we have that. Uh, so I think we have that already. Let's go ahead and check them out. 
so so you can uh, choose what kind of communications for in this case I just check them all uh, and then if you can see here no data received in the past uh, 40 hours so we can uh, go ahead and check it will take some time we can also check this one uh, Google tag so we can also copy this Google tag right here tag manager and we can also put them on our site developers tools yeah let's put some space right there and then I just save it So that's it. So you can also check here the tags. So we can add that later on, but for now, I will just focus in the Google Analytics uh, event. So let's go ahead and, you know, close this one. And we can go to home All right so now here uh, we can check in real time that's uh, reports let's see if start with Google so let's continue this one and uh, go to setup assistance uh, data collection let's see data streams add streams web oh we already add that one so that's it so I think we're good on that one. And now there is a difference between the latest Google Analytics 4 uh, to this one. So let's try ahead and check the real time here if we can see. So let's go ahead and uh, browse our site. So let's go back here. If this data can capture, yeah. So I think uh, we need to wait for a few more minutes or at least a day. But sometimes, based on my experience from the old Google Analytics 4, it will show up here at least uh, the data so let's go ahead ah there you go see so that means to say uh, we have captured the real time uh, when I'm browsing and if you can see uh, here video lessons and if you check it here we are also in the correct uh, video lessons if you click on categories yeah go back here so if you can see there are some bit delay of uh, capturing the data but at least now we're good that uh, we can see that the data is captured all right so 
if we refresh that yeah and now we can see it now here in our uh, data so that's uh, how you add the Google Analytics 4 it's quite easy but in our previous video you can check uh, uh, the data uh, we have different uh, video tutorial how to read those datas uh, that you have there so you can check them out and uh, you can also check our previous video how to use Google Analytics for your campaign so yeah so I think uh, uh, our objective today uh, is done we need to con we need to add the Google Analytics uh, 4 to our site which we completed and we can see some data right here though it says uh, it's wait for 48 hours but <clears throat> like what I've said based on my experience it will show up in a few minutes but uh, it won't if it won't show up in 48 hours then uh, I think you need <clears throat> to check out some frequently asked questions in Google Analytics or maybe uh, you probably configured it incorrectly so uh, but it's a straightforward configurations uh, you can follow the steps what we have done and uh, yeah <clears throat> that's it that's how we add the Google Analytics for to our site so thank you for watching guys and uh, see you in the next video tutorial bye